Hey, what's up? It's Jim and I just got back from the new film, Savages. This is the latest film from Oliver Stone. It is about two pot growers who have a nice business. They grow a good uh, strand of cannabis that they get from seeds from Afghanistan. And Taylor Kitsch's character went to war and got the seeds from Afghanistan, put them, brought them to California where his friend, played by Aaron Johnson, would help because he majored in botany, would uh, help cultivate this amazing weed and then the Mexican cartel, run by Selma Hayek's character, she wants to buy them out and have a business with them and have them teach her uh, growers and stuff how to make this amazing weed. And they say no, and they're kind of sick of the business. They'd much rather sell it off, and she was like, no, you're gonna do what I say. And so they steal Blake Lively, who's this girl that they're both having sex with at the same time. And they both love her, but they've kidnapped her and they have to find a way to get uh, her back and so they don't kill her. Oliver Stone, um, you know, recently he's been pretty bad. I think Wall Street 2 was, it's just a horrible piece of shit. And Savages is definitely a step up, but not that much of a step up. It's a lot darker and edgier than usually Oliver Stone has been doing in the past couple years. This is kind of reminiscent of more of his work like U-Turn or Natural Born Killers. And he wants to come back. And like a lot of uh, 90s retreads like Avatar, Tangled, and Scream 4, it's not as good as the movies that it's of the style that it's inspired by by the person who came up with the style in the first place. This film, you know, there's a really good chance for a really good character arc in this film. And that could have been Blake Lively's character, and that could have been Aaron Johnson's character. And Aaron Johnson's character, and he's more, he's majors in botany, he's, he's like the soul of the organization, as Blake Lively says, as she dully narrates this thing. But you see him selling out his morals throughout this film, and there's really no sense that he's changed because of these events, when in fact I would have thought that would be one of the more interesting parts of the film. His character would have changed through, you know, being this non-violent Buddhist who like helps like African villages and stuff to this guy who like later has to go and take revenge to like help his girl and like make sacrifices to his character and like what that would do to him. The story arc is happening. When you get to the end of the arc, uh, there is no end of the arc. They're like exactly the same. They, they, I mean, it was crazy. It was a crazy time, man. It was crazy. But we're like totally the same. He wouldn't really say anything about the California weed business or the Mexican cartels. He's not really saying anything. He's making this kind of, I wouldn't call it exploitation because it's not that smart, but I think uh, Oliver Stone is kind of enamored of the drug business. I don't think he has a cool drug dealer. I think he fantasizes drug dealers to this bizarre point. It feels like kind of a ridiculous 90s movie, like the big hit or something. Certainly it's a little more serious, a lot more stylized. It's kind of like a rambling plot. Seems to somewhat know what three acts are, but it doesn't act like it all the time because it has scenes that don't really, aren't really important to other plot points. It has a fake out ending, which seems a lot more appropriate in something like Wayne's World. Taylor Kitsch and Blake Lively, I think get hints that they are actually good actors. Blake Lively, I've never seen really been good in anything. I think this is maybe her best performance I've seen. Her narration kind of worked in this kind of film noir-ish kind of thing. Taylor Kitsch, I kind of, he, this is probably of the three movies he's come out with this year and all as unimpressive as the next. I think this is probably the best of the three and this is probably his best performance of the three. Not that I mean, if you look at Battleship and John Carter, John Travolta, it just seems unreal almost to me. Like, it feels like he's had a lot of plastic surgery. He looks weird. I can't really believe him as much. And he's either yelling or he's like talking in a normal voice. I don't know why Benicio Del Toro is doing a supporting role. I think he's a really good actor. I like Selma Hayek. So a lot of people said like, oh, it's so annoying. Selma Hayek is like a bad guy, but I like Selma Hayek, so you know, whatever. Um, it's because it's so trying to be trivia, it's so trying to be something, but it's really not. It has this kind of vanilla quality to everything because none of the characters change. It's almost like a hyper R-rated ABC family show or something. So if you have seen Savages and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to. I just did one camera today because, I don't know, I'm sorry. I guess it's like kind of lazier, but it's not that much lazier because I still edit my videos. So, you know, next time I think I'll do two cameras, just not this time for whatever reason. And I don't have my normal tripod, so 
Oh, also Emil Hirsch. He's on this. 